Yo, what's up guys? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV. I hope you guys are having a great day and we are going to talk about hitting tips in MLB The Show 17. Uh, I was able to make the World Series last year in MLB The Show 16, so I feel like I can bring you some good hitting tips and tutorials. I know a lot of my subscribers have been looking forward to this video. And also, if you're new out there, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But hopefully by the end of this video, I can get you at least somewhat better at hitting and somewhat better at hitting home runs. And I'm just going to show you basically my practice techniques. I'm going to share you all, share with you all the knowledge that I have. I'm going to talk about equipment that you may may need that can make you um, that can help you out. We're just going to go into how I practice, and we're going to go from there. So the first thing you want to do is go into batting practice. And one thing that you got to think about is. All good players, they practice. Like, it doesn't matter if you're the best player or the worst player. It's kind of like when you go up four runs, you know, you got to keep the same game plan. You can't just start swinging at the first pitch. So let's go with, um, usually I, pl I like to practice against Thor with uh, Eric Cosmer. But uh, how about we go up against, like, <clears throat> I don't know, let's go up against Zach Grinky today. Uh, pick whatever park that you'd like and then you head into practice now I'm going to talk about uh, settings first we're going to talk about why I use the settings that I use I do have a video on the best settings if you'd like to copy my settings just go ahead and find that on the channel that video is already out but after the game loads up first thing I'm going to do real quick is uh, I'm going to adjust the uh, the audio just to make sure we don't let's just turn audio I don't know pretty much all the way down <clears throat> so you guys can hear me in the video here turn all this down pretty low okay now that we got that taken care of now um, there's a couple modes you can do um, first of all uh, let's change one more option because I have it on legend we'll go back up to legend here in a second but the first thing we should do is let's start on all-star because there's a lot of you guys that are going to play on all-star now basically the difference between these is one is pitch speed the pitch is going to come in faster the higher you put it up and also your pci is going to be smaller so that's why i like to play on legend uh to practice because it's kind of like putting on a donut on the bat before you step it when you're in the batters uh, on deck circle before you go into the batter's box from the on deck circle you have that donut on your bat and you're swinging it and it's more difficult so when you get into the real thing then it's easier so that's why I like to practice on legend um, there's no sliders in here but if you can practice on legend with the pitch speed turned up to like eight you'll be facing extremely extremely difficult uh, pitching but you'll get better like if you're improving from there you will get better uh, so if you're a more advanced player I really recommend you guys do that go to a franchise and turn the settings like that that that's a really good way to practice and but for right now you know we want to go to legend but let's talk about all-star and I'm gonna do my best to keep this in a sequential order but I'm just going to talk a lot of tips I'm just gonna talk hitting as we go through this now an all-star you can use the power swing in my opinion because the PCI will be big enough for you to do that uh, once you get to Hall of Fame and legend you pretty much need to hit X because you need the PCI to be big enough now hitting interface I use zone hitting the reason for this is because you can get the most precise input on the ball when you hit it so zone hitting is really important uh, buttons is the best way to go so you have the option to power swing too normal swing um, I turn the plate coverage indicator on you don't necessarily have to do that you can turn it off and also the PCI that I use is wedge and that PCI just stands for plate coverage indicator and uh, there's other ones like rectical that isn't bad uh, some people like to use that but I like the wedge the most that's the one that I like the most because I like having that dot and I like tracking the ball uh, with that dot and when you do dot it up that's when the ball goes a long way so we're gonna set our settings like that for right now 
And uh, there's a couple modes you can do in here. Discipline and back control. Uh, discipline it makes you have a good eye and back control. It makes you hit it to certain spots on the field. Um, I think we're going to do back control because they tend to throw you more strikes, but I can do both. So now let's go into the box. And um, basically what you're going to do is you just want to dot up the pitch, you know, track the pitch the best you can, and then move this, move the dot towards the ball. Uh, one of my main tips that I like to talk about is if they throw a curveball, if it starts below your belt, it's going to be into the dirt. If it starts above your belt, it's going to be uh, something that you can hit. Um, so I'm going to do my best here to talk and play while I record this. So it wants me to hit it over to left field and we try to be slightly late and then hit it over to left field. Uh, that was a pretty good hit. I'll take that. And then you get points for that. And then you can see, uh, I don't know. I might actually, uh, let me uh, move the camera real quick of where I am so you guys can see my feedback. I'm gonna move myself like up here. Alright, because I want you guys to see the feedback. Um, in the feedback, you need to be looking at every uh, every time. Now you can see right here in the bottom right corner how that dot was dotted up. Um, that's what you're after. <laughs> you want to dot that up, and I think Wedge does the best for that because it doesn't. It gives you. You can still kind of see the picture. And uh, real quickly, I'd like to talk about like why a lot of people are like, why do you want to use strike zone to hit over some of the other views? Well, first of all, the pitcher is so close to us. I think that's the best. And then pixel by pixel, we have the most, uh, it's the easiest to see this PCI and move it. Like I can move it way more specifically in this view compared to the other views. And just let me show you an example and we'll take the pitch. See how much I can see. If it's low, it's not even going to be in my picture. If it's high, it's not going to be in my picture. And the PCI itself, <clears throat> there's more pixels that we get to work with here in this view. Now, if we go to like, if we go to, um, let's switch the camera. Now, if we go to like, you know, let's say let's go to the show 16. Like now we have less pixels and less specific, like specificness that we can use. You know what I mean? <clears throat> the PCI is smaller. Uh, the ball itself is smaller. And that's really why I think it's so important to use strike zone because this is so much more difficult. Like I can be, I have to be so much less precise and where I'm going with it <clears throat> to hit so the challenge is definitely increased I know a lot of you guys use that and um, you know actually had a pretty good swing on that one I know a lot of you guys use that <clears throat> but that's why strike zone can make your game go to the next level quickly it's just there's so much more room for error in my opinion the pitcher looks like he's further away the ball is smaller pixel wise the pci is smaller pixel wise so that's why i think it's uh you know real important to use strike zone view now we're let's go back to strike zone view <clears throat> all right so we'll go to cameras and we'll go back to strike zone view now you guys can see what I'm saying. This is a very popular question of why you use strike zone view. Now you can see like I'm zoomed in and all I, I can uh, have way more, um, way more accuracy, way more control. It's just way easier. Look how much closer Zach Grinke is. The ball looks bigger. There's just so many advantages uh, to using it that I highly recommend you use. Uh, zone hitting with PCI. Man, I'm missing the ball. <laughs> so let's talk about some other general hitting tips. Um, having a game plan at the plate is very important. Um, 
<clears throat> Obviously, you don't want to swing at the first pitch. A lot of the time, swinging at the first pitch is bad. Um, even if you hit it good, it's not the best thing <laughs> because it seems like a lot of balls die on the first pitch. Um, the other thing that you can do when you take pitches is the pitcher's confidence on each pitch goes down. And really the key in this game is getting the pitcher's confidence down as quickly as you can. And once you get the pitcher's confidence down, going into attack mode. Uh, that's really important. Now the pitcher has two meters, energy, and confidence. And when that pitch confidence goes down, balls just start finding holes. Balls go over the wall. It's very, very... Uh, it's very, very good to go into attack mode at that point in time. But as far as your game plan at the plate, I like to take the first pitch a lot of the time. And I almost like to take the second pitch. Uh, a lot of people, it's very difficult for them to throw strikes online. And they also will try to pitch around you. So if you go up there and you're not swinging at everything, you're going to put them in a real hole because they don't normally like to throw strikes. And let's go to like uh, discipline, I think. Um, or it could go. I don't, I don't even know what good or bad is. Let me check that out. But uh, good at bat. Hopefully he throws me some balls here and stuff like that. There it is. There. A lot of people will throw you balls. You just have to get better at tracking them, and you have to put yourself in the pitcher's mind. Like a game plan is so important. I talk about it on my stream all the time. Like. And when I go up more, you know, say I have a good inning going up four runs, like you want to stick to that game plan the next thing. You don't want to start swinging at the first pitch. You want to make them throw balls. So then after he's throwing a couple balls, you can sit, wait for that pitch, and that was probably the best swing of the whole tutorial so far. <clears throat> so you can really get on balance. Their pitch confidence goes down per pitch. And you'll be on balance. Being on balance to the plate is so important. Like, you always want to dictate and be the aggressor. Uh, as far as, like, you want to be the one that's being assertive. Like, you want him pitching around you. You want to be the one dictating how the at-bat's going. You don't want to just, you know, try to go after pitches outside the zone. Because pitches that don't end up in the strike zone, when you swing at them, like, if you swing at a ball and put it in play, like I did there... See, I still hit it, but it would have been an out. <clears throat> Most of the time when you get hits, you will have to hit the ball in the actual strike zone. Very rarely can you hit a ball outside of the actual strike zone and go for a hit. I know it's different than in real life, but it's kind of not. So just make sure that you swing at pitches in the strike zone. Now, I like to start my PCI in the middle of the plate. Uh, I don't... Sometimes I will cheat. I mean, you have to you have to think about what the player is doing that you're facing. Are they throwing a bunch of high and inside? Where can you cheat? Where can you get ready? What should you be looking for? You need to look at what the what pitches the the pitcher has and be aware of that. And you need to be aware of the count. Like a lot of times on two strikes, they're going to throw something low in the dirt to try to get you to chase. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to think here. Um, that was a really hittable pitch. But definitely just be on balance the best you can. Uh, one thing I like to do is if it's in the center, I like to keep it in the center with the PCI, but I like to move it up just a little bit. You see, I'm moving it up just a little bit, so my finger's already like kind of moving it a little bit. I'm not stagnant. At that time, I swung it a bad pitch. But if you don't keep it centered, maybe just move it up just a little bit. Just that little bit. See how I'm barely moving it up? Just to get your thumb ready. And every pitch, track it with your zone. You know, one thing George Brett used to do was every pitch he used to look it back into the catcher. Look it back into the catcher to see where it was. Every pitch you want to track with your zone. And you could even get some good practice by just moving your zone to get comfortable. You don't even have to swing. But uh, you could swing just so you get that feedback. <clears throat> so these are some of the basics for hitting. Um, I'll probably have to make another video. Uh, because I know you guys are going to have questions. Um, 
one thing that is a really good quality of a hitter is having a very quick bat. Like sometimes I like to think about how quick of a bat I want. I like I, I just tell myself in mind like have a quick bat. <clears throat> having a quick bat lets them not just pitch you inside all game. If you can just be quick, uh, you can hit it inside. I like going opposite field like I did there. Like that's probably where I'm really the best at hitting is keeping my weight back and driving it to the opposite field. <clears throat> but, you know, that's what I like to do the best. But if it, they pitch you inside, you gotta have a quick bat. A lot of times, like, left on left, you know, you gotta cheat and stuff like that. This would be good with the defense and stuff out there to have a good bat. That time I swung at the first pitch. Let's go through, like, a typical bat. I'm sorry, I know this tutorial is all over the place, but for the first one, it's like, I, I gotta kind of really get in there. So, I'd like to take the first pitch. Nice. Now I'm ahead in the count. His slider just lost pitch confidence. That's good. Overall, he loses pitch confidence when he takes balls. When you uh, really start to play online and you, you have a good eye, that's one of the toughest things to do, to go against. When someone has a killer eye, they're always waiting until two strikes and they make you earn every strike that you get. That's that's when you're a really, really good hitter. You're going to be putting up tons of runs. And then just stick to your game plan. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't waver from the game plan just because you got the lead. I'm, I'm really bad at base running in this because I don't play a bunch of the show anymore. Well, let's talk about equipment finally, and then we'll wrap this up. Um, something that you would really want to get. Now, I understand not everyone's got the budget to do this. But if you are, if you do have uh, a lot of stuff that you want to dedicate to this game, some of the stuff I recommend getting is, I recommend getting, um, if you haven't had a controller, a new controller for a while, a new controller will definitely help out. Um, let me, uh, let me see where I have these things. They're right here, so it won't take too long. But uh, there's these control freaks. Uh, it's gonna be tough to kind of see them because of my green screen But the control freaks I put on the controller see how it made them. I don't know Kind of tough to see you can kind of see them like that uh, Go to GameStop uh, The ones you want I, I don't know the gamer pack alpha I, I can give you guys a link if anybody in the comments wants them I can give you a link now the control freaks What they do is they give you a little bit more control over moving that PCI around and also they'll help with pitching when I get to the pitching tutorials I'm gonna be giving you guys pitch combos that you can use uh, just kind of like a 101 on analog pitching and stuff like that so be sure to subscribe uh, another big thing to get is a monitor a monitor a gaming monitor will drastically improve your hitting too because of the input time and the input lag. Uh, I'm playing right now on a two millisecond input lag monitor instead of a TV. And the monitor can cost you anywhere from like 130 bucks to if you want to get a really nice one, even more expensive. But what the monitor does is uh, pretty much all top players, they play on monitors instead of TVs because it allows for less time between when they press the button, when they make uh, inputs on the controller to what's happening on screen so that's why investing in a monitor is also something that you can do to improve your game and again I understand that might not be something that everybody is going to do but it's something that if you are uh, you know more along my age or whatever age really but just if you're thinking about getting better at hitting, those two things can really, or those three things can really help you out. A nice new controller, control freaks, and a monitor can really help you out. So that's pretty much the hitting home run tips that I have for you guys today. Uh, I hope this helped you guys out. Um, make sure you practice, man. Like practice on legend, man. That's definitely the best way to go is to practice on legend. Um, in fact, I'm going to set mine back to Legend. 
Because <clears throat> when you practice on Legend, when you go back and play, it's so much easier when you're going up against, you know, someone like that. And don't be afraid to practice. I think that's one of the more underrated things. I think a lot of players don't realize that the top players, uh, they're practicing in practice mode a lot more than you might think. Like, uh, I know uh, my boy Pitching Rebel, He uh, he's like the top overall player. When he has a, a bad BR run, he goes back to the cage. I know Cardinal Bird will be in the cage a lot practicing. Like all the top guys, they get in here and practice. Nice. That's a good hit on Legend. I'll take that. Stay a second. Um, but get in the cage, man, and practice in practice mode. Practice against the computer. Turn that difficulty up. And if you take some L's, you take some L's. If you take, if it's getting tough, it's getting tough. But if you put in the work, you will get a lot better at hitting. And I really wish I was taking some better at bats. But guys, this tutorial could go on forever. Like, I could honestly talk about uh, stuff with hitting for hours and hours and hours. Uh, maybe next video for hitting tips, I'll just put up some of the comments and try to answer them the best I can. And I'll take, like, some more BP or something like that. But if this video helped you guys out, please drop a like on this video. Uh, that would be awesome uh, so more people can see it. Share the video with your friends uh, that play MLB The Show so that, uh, you know, you can get... Oops. So that you can... Nice, so you did a home run on Legend. So we're, we're turning it up, man. I'm telling you, I, hopefully if you made it this far, uh, I was able to show you that I'm decent at the game. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Just drop a like, drop a share, uh, follow me on Twitter if you'd like, and let me know down in the comments below, uh, you know, just let me know down in the comments below what you guys want me to talk about, because that, when I answer questions, it makes it easier for me to have, you know, like a set structure and I won't be rambling is so so much uh be sure to tune in to the analog pitching and pitching combos video that's what i'm going to put out next and uh hope you guys are having a great day thank you so much for watching peace